Ah, Philadelphia, the city of brotherly love, also known as the birthplace of America, the city of neighborhoods, and Philadelphia, depending on the year. Philadelphia was originally founded by William Penn in 1681 as a place where his fellow Quakers could enjoy freedom of worship. Philadelphia is a city that has tons to offer, ranging from history, sports, great cheesesteaks, and great entertainment. These are the top 10 places to visit in Philadelphia. Number 10, City Hall. City Hall is actually the world's largest freestanding masonry building. In 1976, it was designated as a National Historic Landmark. City Hall has been a filming location for several movies, including Rocky, National Treasure, and Limitless. All great movies, by the way. In front of City Hall, there is an ice rink and many other activities during most months of the year for people to enjoy. Number 9, Rittenhouse Square. This neighborhood is among the highest income urban neighborhoods in the country, but it's just not it's not just for the ritzy crowd. During the day, the park is a very lively yet relaxing place. You can find many local musicians playing music in the park for spectators to listen to. You can also see a lot of young professionals playing chess, reading a book, or drinking their $7 mocha lattes from the nearby coffee shops. That night, there are a number of great bars in Rittenhouse. The Doe's Irish Pub is a favorite of mine, among many others in the area. Number 8, Italian Market. Located on South 9th Street near East Passyunk Avenue, Italians began to move here in 1884. Once a year, it plays host to the annual Italian Market Festival with music, lots of activities, and a lot of delicious food. There are many different types of food sold here, ranging from traditional Italian shops to Mexican, Vietnamese, Korean, and Chinese food. At the end of the Italian market, you will actually come across Pat's and Gino's steaks, both worth a visit at least once. I wish D'Alessandro has also had a location here. Number seven, Penn's Landing. Penn's Landing is located along the Delaware River. It's home to many historic ships, including the submarine USS Bakuna, USS Olympia, and the Mishulu. The Blue Cross River Inc. is also at Penn's Landing. Here you can see local Philadelphians slipping and falling on the ice. Spruce Street Harbor Park is open during the warmer months, and it's a great place to relax in a hammock near the waterfront. During the summer months, you can also head to Festival Pier at Spring Garden Street for outdoor concerts. Number 6, Boathouse Row. Located on the eastern bank of the Schuylkill River, Boathouse Row consists of 15 boathouses housing social and rowing clubs. The boathouses are all at least a century old, with some being built over 150 years ago. Boathouse Row is seen as the center of the rowing community around the United States. You can take a stroll along Boathouse Row and stop at the many lookouts along the way to get a better view of the boathouses and the dam. Number 5, South Street. Located on the southern border of Center City and the northern border of South Philadelphia lies South Street. South Street is one of Philly's biggest tourist attractions. Some of South Street's main attractions include Magic Gardens, the Theater of Living Arts, and a ton of great bars and restaurants up and down the street. Magic Gardens is a really cool place that is completely covered with mosaics. The crater actually used handmade tiles, bottles, mirrors, and even bicycles to chronicle his life. The TLA is a 1,000 maximum concert venue that features up-and-coming artists, along with more prominent artists. South Street has every type of bar ranging from Irish pubs like Paddywax to more hipster bars like Tattooed Moms. If you ever get a chance to come to South Street, you absolutely need to stop into Tattooed Moms. Nothing screams hipster like a bar named Tattooed Mom. In all seriousness, this place is pretty awesome. They have a grungy punk rock scenery inside, and they even have these go-karts that you can sit in. Oh, and don't mind the people with face and neck tattoos. Most of them don't play. Number 4, Benjamin Franklin Parkway. A Philadelphia trip would not be complete without taking a stroll down Benjamin Franklin Parkway. Along the way, you'll pass Love Park, Logan Square, and the Franklin Institute, which are all great places to spend some time in. To arrive at the entrance to the Art Museum, go ahead and take a picture at the Rocky statue, and then run up the Rocky stairs. The Art Museum is one of the best places to visit in Philadelphia, and its collection consists of more than 240,000 objects spanning over 4,000 years. Number 3, Fishtown. Located northeast of Center City, Fishtown is known for its unique art, concert venues, comedy halls, and eclectic bars and restaurants that fill the area. I was saying earlier that South Street had a hipster vibe, well Fishtown takes the cake on that one. Some notable places include the concert venue The Fillmore, Punchline Philly Comedy Club, and Penn Tree Park. Now if you're looking for a hangout bar, head to Barcade, Garage, or North Bowl. The garage is more of the neighboring water hole, but the best part is they have skee-ball. 
Sparkade has an excellent craft beer selection, and even has games like Pac-Man and Donkey Kong for you to play for hours on end. If you're looking for great live music, head to the Barbary or Johnny Brenda's, which typically have a lineup of local bands that come play. Now for you degenerate gamblers, head to Rivers Casino. I actually won $400 playing poker here, but then I lost it all shortly after at the roulette table. Darn. Number two, Old City. Old City is located along the Delaware River. Old City is one of Philadelphia's oldest neighborhoods and part of the area where William Penn and the Quakers first settled. You can visit Independence Hall, the Liberty Bell, the Betsy Ross House, and the Museum of the American Revolution, among many other places. If you're a history lover, you'll be basking in your glory in Old City as there is so much to learn and see. Old City is also great for nightlife, and South 2nd Street is where you go to find the bars. A few of my favorites include Buffalo Billiards and Brownies Irish Pub. Number one, the stadiums. Located in South Philly, when you come to Philadelphia, you need to see a concert or a sports game here. Whether it's an Eagles game, Flyers game, Sixers or Phillies game, Philadelphians, we love our sports teams. The energy you feel inside Lincoln Financial Field, Citizens Bank Park, or the Wells Fargo Center is really amazing. There's really nothing like it. However, if you wear a Giants or Cowboys jersey, be prepared to get heckled viciously. Us Philadelphians are very dedicated to our sports teams, and we're definitely not afraid to show it. We're actually still reveling about Nick Foles and the Eagles beating Tom Brady in the 2018 Super Bowl, and Tom Brady is still crying himself to sleep at night about it. Some honorable mentions include Chinatown, Reading Terminal Market, and the Eastern State Penitentiary. Well, that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for new videos. Cheers.